Alien Agenda 6, The Worm Has Turned. The Coming Exposure, Containment and Deconstruction of the Illuminati. By Preston James. The Worm Has Turned. When Shakespeare used that simple phrase, The Worm Has Turned, he knew his audience would understand its meaning and origin. A widely used expression even today, it indicates a reversal of fortune, but few who use it know why. Worm is a common term for dragon. In fairy tale terms, the flying dragon spewing fire would ravage fields and villages. To be in the dragon's path resulted in inescapable destruction. What a relief if it changed directions. The most secret agency of the United States government has apparently decided that disclosure is now going to be allowed, despite the existing official, but secret USG policy against it. New information has emerged. It now appears that even though the ruling crime cabal, RCC, ACA the Illuminati, has been against alien ET disclosure, the super-secret organization called Majestic 12 has decided that disclosure will be allowed. Apparently Majestic 12 has also decided that this disclosure must be done in a controlled manner so as not to panic the populace or fracture the existing everyday social and economic order. Disclosure will lead to the implementation of populism the implementation of free energy, and the end of the petroleum-based economy, which would be the RCC's biggest nightmare. In contrast to the apparent new policy of Majestic 12 for full disclosure in orderly steps, strong efforts are still being made by the ruling crime cabal, RCC, to maintain this secret policy of no disclosure. These efforts to prevent disclosure are now doomed to failure, mostly due to the emerging worldwide populism that has spontaneously arisen as a byproduct of the Internet and its ability to communicate information at the speed of light. But there is another reason that disclosure is imminent. Free energy systems have been discovered and developed and are ready to be rolled out and will completely displace the petroleum-based energy systems which control the world. Apparently Majestic 12 has decided that the time for the implementation of free energy is now here as long as it is implemented in an orderly manner. This is also known as zero-point energy or dark energy or cosmic wind. It is believed that Tesla discovered this and was able to harness it. There have been previous anecdotal reports of one alien ET group, the Tall Whites, Akka Nordics, have been pushing for full disclosure. And there have been other anecdotal reports suggesting that another alien ET group, known as the evil reptoids, Aka Dracos, are reputed to be serving as advisors to certain leaders of the RCC and are pushing hard to maintain complete secrecy and non-disclosure. The RCC appears to be cornered from all sides with many vectors converging on them in addition to the rapid rate at which their crimes against Americans and the world are being exposed and communicated to the masses. Certainly the RCC's top policymakers and crime kingpins, ACA the Denver Circle of 12 bloodthirsty ones, have a lot of power they would lose in a short period of time as full disclosure occurs and a non-petroleum-based free energy system is rolled out. All the technology is already discovered and ready to go, and would have already been implemented except for the petroleum energy cartels who established a stranglehold on the nation's governments. And now there is the notable emergence of the ever-increasingly popular BRICS Development Bank which has a total of 170 nations who have either signed on or submitted letters of intent. This is a direct threat to the, the United States petrodollar's use as the world's reserve currency and unless some unforeseen events occur, will probably eventually dethrone the, the United States petrodollar and reduce it to worthless paper. It was the RCC that seized control over the official USG and much of the secret shadow government, SSG, after they assassinated JFK, MLK and RFK. The RCC has attempted to take control over Majestic 12 but never fully succeeded thanks to the strong commitment of some of the members who have been high military command officials and are known to be America firsters with strong moral characters. A traditional split in Majestic 12. It has been claimed by some insiders that there has been a traditional split in Majestic 12, the super-secret USG agency that decides and controls all matters relating to alien ETs, alien technology back engineering and implementation, and space war matters which are actually matters of serious national security. It is believed by some insiders that some Majestic 12 members have been against disclosure to we the people on the basis that it would be too traumatic and would result in the failure of major institutions of the USG to keep functioning properly. 
It is believed by some that other members of Majestic 12 were in favor of it because they felt that the secret could no longer be contained anyway. It was also believed by some that the USG institutions were failing because of the hijacking of key USG and SSG policymakers by a group of alien ETs who violated conditions of their joint treaty with the USG. It turns out that the first group of aliens the USG signed a treaty with are controlled by evil, deceptive liars and cosmic parasites. Alien Alpha Draconian 32 Some of the members of Majestic 12 began to believe that the alien ET group a treaty had been signed with was intrinsically deceptive, evil and had an alien agenda behind it. But the USG entered into this first treaty made in the early 1950s in order to acquire alien ET technology. But they had to allow the alien ETs access to humans for taking blood and tissue samples for genetic analysis and gene splicing. Apparently their race was slowly dying of decrepit genes and they wanted to use human genes to re-engineer and repair their race and to gene splice their own new race of transhuman slaves for their god Lucifer. Some members of Majestic 12 came to believe that this alien agenda was basically evil. And they somehow had learned that it consisted of an intent to terraform the earth, drastically reduce the earth's population by 90% and repopulate the Earth with their own alien ET species after repairing it along with a new gene-spliced creation of transhuman androids created by them. Some have identified this alien force as the Dracos, the Reptilians, Akka the Order of the Snake and they have their own race of android grey servants that they created through gene-splicing. If reports that have leaked out are correct, these Dracos have been functioning for many centuries as a powerful evil cosmic parasites, are interdimensional, are male, can assume the flesh, and can breed with human women. Some believe these Dracos, Reptoids, are fallen angels that sinned against God Almighty and in leaving their rightful abode to come to earth to breed with human females, gave up their immortality as spirit being and became the fallen ones or the accursed ones awaiting final judgment and destruction. It is also believed that these Dracos hate humans because of their impending destruction. And it is believed by some that these Dracos have invaded planet Earth and hijacked its structures of government by raising up and anointing certain bloodlines to serve their needs. In exchange these anointed world rulers are given vast power, riches, status and wealth beyond imagination as long as they keep feeding the monsters. Some believe that the Dracos are actually interdimensional fallen angels aka the fallen ones. For those that think there is no such thing as alien ETs or their anti-gravity craft, here is a very unique and quite convincing video of a man that has no reason to lie. We need to stop feeding the monsters that are operating as cosmic parasites upon us. Feeding the monsters means supplying their negative energy needs by causing as much painful death and suffering in humans as possible. To do this wars are staged as mass human sacrifice rituals dedicated to these Dracos. And the top RCC leaders, Akka the Denver Circle of Twelve, conducts semi-annual ritual sacrifices of children on satanic holidays to feed their monster overlords which are cosmic parasites according to insider reports. There have been insider reports that these Dracos are interdimensional spirit beings that are exceedingly evil and hate all humans and everything they stand for and have created. It is also believed that these Dracos have lived for thousands of years and have been hard at work dominating and parasitizing planet Earth and humans off and on for many centuries, being driven out at times in the past through major corrections, planetary disasters of some kind of cosmic correction or major judgment from God Almighty. Some identify these bloodlines as alien forward slash human hybrids, for example Ephilim male x human female. Some call them the Kenites or the bloodline of Cain who were given the power to rule over evil, folks who display the symbol of the mark of Cain which is a double cross or double X. If this is true this would perhaps best be described as an alien parasite that invaded planet Earth appointing, anointing, and empowering select human bloodlines which may or may not be hybridized with their blood, and appointing and anointing these folks to rule planet Earth according to their evil alien agenda. As this narrative goes, the Dracos created Mystery Babylo which is their system of Babylonian money magic and Luciferia black magic, that is, creating money from nothing as death notes in order to transfer wealth from the masses to themselves through the creation and use of pernicious usury, debt that accrues in such a way that it can never be paid off. 
These Luciferia secret black magic arts were shared only with a select group chosen from certain bloodlines, folks who were profiled to be somewhat easily corrupted, and who would be willing to sell their souls to Lucifer in exchange for unimaginable power, status, fame and riches. By the way, not all the alien ET races visiting planet Earth are believed to be so malignant like the Draco cosmic parasites. Some insiders have said there are over 100 different alien ET species visiting planet Earth and few ever reveal themselves. Here is a KGB movie of actual small greys some insiders consider to be androids or servants forward slash serfs and are harmless little fellows, unlike the tall greys which are viewed by some as evil beasts and servants of the Dracos. And now for the deepest darkest secrets of the alien agenda. There are cosmic rules of play set in place by God Almighty the Master Creator. These rules limit how the Dracos or any other cosmic parasites, Aka fallen angels or fallen ones, can operate. If they could the Dracos would just have landed publicly in the major cities, taken over by brute force, and would have fully enacted their to human alien agenda, and that would have been that. The cosmic rules of play however prevent that and they must work through humans whom they have been able to steal their souls and then possess. These fallen ones do this through offering up extremely desirable rewards such as massive power, status and prestige, wealth and all the earthly pleasures and trappings only the richest most successful humans can acquire. But they must be willing to sell their souls to Lucifer that is, enter into a lifetime blood contract with Lucifer in order to receive these extreme rewards and perks denied to the common man. I know, this all sounds so trite but there are many anecdotal reports from insiders about this actually occurring. Evidence that this is so can be found with the numerous recent public statements made by some of the top rock stars who act out the Illuminati rituals publicly. You will find these on youtube.com where admissions are made. So the bottom line is this, these fallen ones cannot actuate and attain their agenda for planet earth and humans unless they acquire and possess certain key human leaders. They must always work through these vectors and if they cannot find folk weak in character that will sell their souls for mammon, well then they are driven backwards into the darkness they came from. And thanks to folks like Stu Webb who inadvertently married into a family of the possessed for a while, we know who is actually the main human vectors now used to actuate the Draco alien agenda. We know it is the Denver Circle of 12, 13 at the witching hour, when their boss visits them. And in addition it has been reported that they get helpful visits from their own personal spirit guide periodically. The Master Game of the Alien Agenda The Alien Agenda Master Game is this. The fallen ones posses and control their key cutouts, known as kingpins, and then these kingpins who have been able to climb the power forward slash control hierarchy are then able to assert control over all subordinates. And they of course follow the will of their overlord. The method by which they are controlled is the carrot and the stick. If they do well for their overlord, Aka spirit guide, they get a big carrot, reward, if they fail or act ineffectively they get the stick, suffer punishment and loss. If they fail too much they get a death sentence. How to stop the systematic rollout of the alien agenda So if we want to stop the incremental rollout of the Draco's alien agenda, the solution is twofold. First expose them for what they are, cosmic parasites who have possessed, anointed and empowered some very evil, twisted top leaders who have become criminal psychopaths and are demo or DG infested. Resist draconian mind control, attitude cloning and dumbing down at every level. The second solution is to resist their agenda in mass, by refusing to consume their pornography, mind-numbing TV programming and a 100% commitment to live by the golden rule, not their but the real one. Their golden rule is gold rules, that is he who has the gold can buy everyone and anything they want. The real golden rule is do unto you neighbor as you would want them to do unto you. The ruling super elite deviants cannot live by this rule of do unto others because it is no longer within their nature. As soon as a critical mass is reached in society, sea power takes over. This is the emergent mass populism or group mind that kicks in at many different levels to create enough social force to stop these Illuminati cold in their tracks. It was done by the founding fathers and can be done again. 
That is why the Illuminati have worked so hard to centralize and hijack public education and to federalize everything, including law enforcement and the alphabets by forming homeland security. If a critical mass turning point is reached, it will be curtains for the Illuminati's hold on America and the rollout of the Draco's alien agenda through their circle of 12, Illuminati, kingpins who will quickly become disposable cutouts. Reaching the critical mass turning point occurs when too many humans wake up. Some social scientists believe that the critical mass occurs when 10% of the populace is awake to the endemic corruption now at every level within federal and state governments due to the criminal syndicate, the RCC which is run by the Circle of Twelve, ACA the Illuminati. And when 10% is reached, which it already has, it is only a matter of time when the Illuminati control breaks down. Unless they are able to quickly impose a complete police state like they did by installing Bolshevism in Russia in 1917, which was responsible for over 100 million murders of the innocent Russians. Or like they did in China where they installed Mao's version of Bolshevism, Aka Pure Illuminism, and who was responsible for over 66 million mass murders on their behalf. Now the critical mass is actually 11% in America and moving towards the 12% mark. At 12% the turning point is reached and the Illuminati system will no longer be supported by we the people and will become unsupported and even psychologically attacked at every single level of American society. Yes, DHS is run by those who are enacting the notably a to human Draco agenda. I know this seems incredulous but it is true. Their goal. Turn America in Gaza to the world largest open air prison camp and then proceed to tirades terrorize, asset strip, disarm, intern in 750 FEMA camps and then systematically mass murder all American boyim. The alien agenda goal to destroy all religions except theirs. Of course the ultimate goal of the Dracos is to pit world Zionism against Christianity and destroy it, and then pit world Zionism against Islam and have them destroy each other. They intend to destroy all world religions except Illuminism, Akal Luciferiasm which will then be followed by destruction of all humans, creation of transhuman species to serve as their slaves and complete their terraforming of the earth and repopulation of the various species created by the Dracos in their joint deep underground miltel labs with humans such as that at Dulles, NM. Mystery Babylon and Babylonian Black Magic, Akka the notably evil Luciferia Black Arts. Insiders have traditionally referred to this system as Mystery Babylo or they simply ask the code word the baby to each other to represent it when around others who are not part of the RCC. This system, Mystery Babylo, has been owned and operated by a small select group of ultimate insiders who have called themselves the Illuminati or the Enlightened Ones, that is, enlightened by their god Lucifer whom they worship and feel empowered by. Soon Mystery Babylo is going to be a thing of the past. The top leaders of the RCC are reputed to be Luciferias and part of a worldwide death cult, an occult network using Freemasonry as a front, and are also involved in a working arrangement and in association with the evil alien ET group the Dracos. This association between the tall greys and the occult was written about by Alistair Crowley who claimed a grey walked through the wall of a pyramid he was inside of and equipped into his presence. There have been some reports that those in the Denver Circle of Twelve, the top Illuminati all have personal spirit guides who appear to them during blood sacrifice rituals and other times and are believed to be Dracos. The top leaders of the RCC appear to be recruited from known bloodlines classically associated with Lucifer, some considered to be related to Cain, Akka the Kenites. If these key bloodles from which the top world leaders are picked to be part of the RCC are the Kenites, progeny of Cain, as some claim, this would explain why they like to display the double cross, two X's, with on placed on top of the other placed at 45 degrees sharing the same center, or two attached X's, also called the double cross. This double cross is called the mark of Cain and symbolizes the Luciferia crossing out of the cross of Jesus Christ, known to be the archenemy of the Denver Circle of Twelve. Whenever you see it remember it is a symbol of Luciferia authority and suggests that the person who displays it is part of the Draco's alien agenda whether they know it or not. It is a Luciferia symbol signifying evil leaders ruling over a world filled with sinful, evil people. 
the agenda of these key bloodlines which have supposedly been selected and anointed by this evil alien group the Dracos has been kept secret from the masses. But it is notably evil beyond imagination and involves sophisticated methodologies and technologies to thin the herd by ministering death to the masses. And all done supposedly to supposedly thin the human herd and purify and maintain the human race to the highest standards as obedient slaves of the Dracos. Limited disclosure has been occurring for over the last 20 years. Over the last 20 years there has been substantial disclosure through TV documentaries, books and weekend seminars and meetings. Nothing official however except for the honest truthful statements made by President Jimmy Carter who has a reputation for honesty and integrity, and some quite interesting comments by President Ronald Reagan. Before Senator Barry Goldwater's death he shared his experience with a journalist about his personal questioning General Curtis Lee May about Hangar 18 at Wright-Patterson AFB while he was a major general in the USAF Reserve. He was supposedly told by General Lee May that if he insisted he would be shown the actual alien ET bodies and then learn the actual facts about alien ETs, but that he would be very closely monitored every day the rest of his life. He concluded that it just wasn't worth it and came away with the idea that alien ETs were very real based on what General Lee May communicated to him when he advised him against insisting on learning too much about them. Another alien ET group has become involved because the Dracos crossed a certain line. There have been a number of alien ET groups visiting planet Earth. Most have been simple observers and desire to do no harm. However one group the Dracos using their specially gene spliced hybrids a certain type of what some folks call the greys, are exceedingly evil parasites that view the Earth as theirs for the taking and the humans that inhabit it as their prey. There have been reports from respected insiders that some Dracos eat humans for a delicacy. Apparently there are accepted rules of play in the universe established by the Creator, God Almighty, and one is that any alien ET group of the Fallen Ones cannot take over another group such as humans without obtaining their consent. And apparently there is another rule of play that the use of fission, fusion, or free energy, aka dark energy, cannot be allowed to get out of hand in waging war, and cannot be allowed to become a serious threat the existence of planet Earth and perhaps other parts of the universe. Have the tall whites, Nordics, already began interfering in the evil alien agenda of the Dracos? If this reality seems imminent it is believed by some insiders that the tall whites, Nordics, will intervene in various non-violent defensive ways to make sure this will not happen. It is believed by some insiders that they have already intervened at times are now working with certain sectors in the United States Intel to intercede against the RCC and the Dracos who control them. The current narrative some insiders have been claiming to associates is that the Dracos have crossed a certain line by using their Illuminati ruling crime cabal, RCC, to distribute nuclear weapons all over the world and to have been deploying them and setting them off in secret such as they did at the Bali bombing the Mara building and the Twin Towers on November the 9th, 01. And that they did so as well in numerous other instances during the Mideast Wars and even Vietnam which involved the use of micro and minimum nukes and high-tech neutron or special jacketed devices. The tall whites which some refer to as Nordics are claimed by some to be acting as a powerful counterforce to the evil Dracos which are believed to be life and energy sucking cosmic parasites. Their alien ET group the tall whites Nordics some view as benevolent and much milder manner than the Dracos, has now allegedly aligned itself with the Russian High Military Command and some elements in the, the United States High Military Command and forward slash or parts of the secret shadow government, SSG. They could be meeting directly with such officials in group settings or influencing matters by working with single individuals unknown to the rest. At this time such information is not available so we can't know for sure but some insiders have claimed that this group of alien ETs are benevolent towards humans, in some cases can pass for them and believe that the human race is at the crossroads of history. And it is possible that a new separate treaty has been formed between the USG and the tall whites through Majestic 12, like the Russian Federation has been reported to have recently made under Putin's leadership. Have the tall whites delivered a final warning to Majestic 12 and the top USG policymakers? It has been alleged that their view is that either the masses, especially we the people in America pool together, wake up, 
break the mind-controlled spell that has been conditioned upon us and take our government back from the RCC. If this is not done, apparently the Dracos will be able to forge ahead and activate their mass death and destruction program based on deploying mass pestilence and limited nuclear war on the whole world which result in the mass murder approximately 90% of the world's population. This narrative includes the notion that the Dracos cannot proceed without the continuing consent provided by we the people who are for the most part asleep at the wheel, but just starting to wake up in mass thanks to the internet which is the new Gutenberg press. I cannot tell you for sure that this narrative is true other than there is some good evidence that it is based on numerous anecdotal reports from respected insiders. An end to all secrecy seems imminent and is now well underway, and seems to be driven by the influence of the tall whites who some believe are generating world populism through the internet. Apparently the current situation is this. If reports are accurate, the tall whites are now working behind the lines to make sure that all secrecy ends and that the secret crimes of the RCCD are fully exposed. To the public via the internet and word of mouth through information diffusion. It does seem quite interesting so many deep black secret shadow government secrets have been exposed lately and so many thought to be secret phone conversations and documents. There is every reason to believe this trend will continue and will speed up. I expect a complete end to all secrecy within two years at the rate this is occurring. The RCC is cornered, desperate and perhaps may deploy more false flag terror on America. Right now it appears that the RCC is cornered desperate and may deploy additional nuclear false flag attacks on America in order to attempt to re-establish their failing control system. This would probably be a final effort to re-establish complete authority in their system or control which is eroding daily, best described as going for broke. Some believed they were going for broke with their nuclear attack on America on November the 9th, 01. Now that what they did to America on November the 9th, 01 has been discovered, Perhaps they believe they must escalate matters by deploying even another, even more brazen, more deadly false flag nuclear attack on America before too many Americans find out what they did on November the 9th, 01. Will the RCC attempt to use Homeland Security, DHS, to lock down America and is this doomed to failure and blowback beyond their imagination? If they do this it is expected they will attempt to use Homeland Security, DHS to lock down America and declare martial law. This will create a serious battle between we the people and these Draco-driven Luciferia kingpins who run the RCC. Her's Majestic 12 attained space weapon parity with the Dracos. Her's Majestic 12 actually developed new weapon systems which can for the first time provide a serious match against the Dracos should they continue with their agenda to invade and populate the world, starting in Africa first. There have been some anecdotal reports of this and if so this would explain why there may have been a major policy change within Majestic 12 to favor complete disclosure and actually permit it and perhaps even facilitate it. Has a major turning point occurred within the last month. Three major events occurred within the last two months which suggest that the worm has turned. The first incident was the phone what a message left on Ambassador Lee Waters Washington DC Embassy phone system by former Tennessee Governor Don Sudquist and former South Dakota State Senator Sheldon R. Sobstad. This phone call threat to Water begs for indictments and prosecution for numerous federal crimes including RICO. If fully investigated and completely prosecuted, this matter could easily unravel the whole USG. These two individuals had allegedly previously stated they were the puppet masters, too. The second incident was the recent announcement by the United States Attorney General Eric Holder that he was resigning. Were these two matters connected? Or was this recorded threat to Lee Water just the final straw that broke the camel's back? It was also recently ruled by a federal judge that the Befazi documents could no longer be withheld after November 1, 2014. Some believe that if the full documents are released by Holder's office many top administration folks, some former ones, will be politically ruined and some even prosecutable. And the third recent major event. 
Veterans Today own Professor Jim Fetzer, Veterans Today editor and his fellow researchers have completely cracked the Sandy Hook event which was a false flag attack on the Second Amendment and a FEMA forward slash DHS capstow level drill with no dead kids, no dead teachers, no dead lazars and all faked, using paid shills and actors and a pre-prepared 50,000 word script. Conclusion it is likely going to be a very traumatic and difficult battle for we the people to expose, block, subdue and drive out the enemy within. There will be many major losses and a great battle ahead on many fronts. But we will be victorious. And as we now know the RCC is little more than a big alien ET, Draco, driven international drug cartel forward slash money laundering enterprise now operating as an exceedingly evil, beyond imagination. Parasite on America and most of the world dedicated to deploying mass painful death and destruction on mankind. The RCC is empowered and driven by a powerful cosmic parasite, the Reptoids, Dracos, whose grasp on planet Earth is now diminishing by the day, thanks to the establishment of a new space weapons parity and a little help from our current associates the Tall Whites, Nordics. Due to the recent events and continued exposure of deep secrets of the RCC, it seems obvious that the worm has turned and the massive power of the RCC will be deconstructed piece by piece in the near future, no matter what they do to prevent it which will only create more direct blowback against them. The RCC may resort to deploying their Samson option and take out one or even several American cities. However this would be their last act as the United States military high command would most likely eradicate them in short order for this. It is known that Israel planted 25 nukes in various large American cities, storing them in their embassies. Israelis planted W-54 based nukes in the World Trade Pter Twin Towers to demo them on November 9, 01 and mass murdered 3,000 innocent victims on that day. This nuclear attack on America on November 9, 01 also created strange radiation caused cancers in over 70,000 first responders and NYC residents. It is believed that most of these Israeli Samson option nukes placed inside America are based on the 350 W-54 pits illegally acquired from Bush 1 out the door at Paytex in Texas. One key congressman was given billions to acquire Ukrainian S-19 and S-20 large megaton warheads when the Soviet Union fell, and instead of reprocessing them properly, sold them to Israel and distributed many millions of dollars to key members of Congress who helped cover this up and continue to keep it covered up. This is of course treason and is a capital offense. Because the payoffs involved treason and major RICO financial fraud there is no statute of limitations. Fortunately the nest men, Aka nuclear snake eaters, are now on the job and inspecting every single Israeli diplomatic pouch or trunk. These men are the elite of the elite and are 100% dedicated. Fortunately we have such men working for all of us. And they are well aware of the new high-tech shielding methods which block gamma rays and necessitate close inspections, and they are doing their best to stay on top of this ongoing RCC forward slash Israeli Samson option threat. Note, this article is written for retired military and intel with advanced knowledge of secret space war matters. Its purpose is to provide information about a certain group of notably evil alien ET visitors who formed a long-term association with super elite criminally insane psychopaths who hijacked America in 1913. These super elite deviants were given incredible power and authority in exchange for enacting the evil agenda of this alien ET group best described as cosmic parasites. This group of super elite deviants is best referred to as the ruling crime cabal, RCC, Aka the Illuminati. If you are not aware of the background information and evidence that is available about this ongoing secret space war, you are probably wasting your time reading this and it won't fit into your mind. The ruling crime cabal, RCC, has done their best to keep you from knowing about secret space war matters. There has been a long-term energetic effort to keep this information from we the people as well as anyone including the high military command who does not have what they define as an absolute need to know. Recently during the last several years Majestic 12, Akamajik, the secret group that has maintained authority over all alien ET matters since it was created by President Truman in 1947, has apparently voted to allow public disclosure. 
The ruling crime cabal, RCC, is comprised of a working alliance between the Bush crime cabal, BCC, and the International Zionist Crime Syndicate, IZCS. This ruling crime cabal forward slash coalition is best described as the Illuminati because that is what they call themselves and prefer to be called by insiders. To this RCC gained power in three major coup d'etats, the first in 1913 with the illegal, unconstitutional passage of the Federal Reserve Act, the second with the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, and the third with the deployment of a Gladio-style, false flag inside job nuclear attack on America on November 9, 01. It was during this time that Israel used nuclear blackmail to coerce the United States administration and top USG officials to allow the creation of Homeland Security, DHS. The creation of Israeli-controlled Homeland Security, DHS, provided an illegal, unconstitutional consolidation of all American alphabets, law enforcement and most intel into one large, easy-to-control Israeli-occupying police state army inside America. This article will claim that the worm has turned at a very high level and the RCC is now being contained, disempowered and deconstructed piece by piece due to an interesting convergence of various forces and entities including the, the United States High Military Command. Because this article contains information leaked by insiders and as well as numerous speculations, use your own judgment to evaluate what is presented and come to your own conclusions. Be aware that many good individuals have been seriously harassed, stalked, threatened and even murdered to bring you this kind of information because the ruling criminal cabal, RCC, does not want you to have any of this information about secret space wars or alien agenda matters. The reason. This will be explained in the article and is best summarized that full public disclosure will likely result in a major immediate loss of power for the RCC at every level and will create a complete disruption of the alien agenda they are working so hard to fulfill which is about as anti-American and a to human as possible.